top priority for Special Olympics Florida is giving athletes of all ages and all abilities the opportunity to compete and succeed in their sport. Here at this year's State Fall Classic, we've added a special track and field competition. Track and field is usually held in the summer months, but this event lets our athletes compete in the cooler weather. It's ideal for athletes who might overheat, as well as those on medications that require only moderate exposure to the sun. Another unique opportunity for our athletes at the State Fall Classic is our cheerleading competition. This year, we have about 150 athletes participating in cheerleading. It's part of our goal to develop and expand our programs to serve as many athletes as possible. Special Olympics Florida is dedicated to creating a more inclusive and accepting society for all people with intellectual disabilities. A huge part of that mission is our unified sports programs. Dogs on three, one, two, three, dogs! In unified sports, athletes with intellectual disabilities compete side by side with unified partners who don't have intellectual disabilities. Training together and playing together is a quick path to friendship and understanding. Unified partners serve as coaches on the field, raising the level of play and creating a more challenging and exciting experience. Flag football is just one of the several unified sports opportunities that we offer throughout the year. It's a great way to introduce the community to our movement, and we encourage people from all walks of life to get involved. Hi, I'm Sally Hale, and we're at the Special Olympics Florida State Bowling Championships. Today I'm here watching my athlete Rebecca Jasky bowl, and we are having a great time. Hi, I'm Rebecca from Osceola County. I bowled today and I got third place. I feel really proud of myself. Rebecca is what I would call the still water. She's very quiet, she keeps to herself, but she pays attention when you give her direction. She tries to always improve. So she follows directions well, and I'm, I'm really pleased with that. Hi, I'm Bonnie Jasky, and I'm Rebecca's mom. When I watch my daughter compete, there are many things that go through my mind. One of them is when she was born, and I knew that there was a disability, and was told she's never going to do this, that, or the other thing. And I think of the gift that Special Olympics has given Rebecca, and that is a sense of self-esteem and belonging. This was Rebecca's first time at state bowling. She didn't really know any of the people that were competing at the same lanes that she was at. But she met Matt, and Matt made her feel a part of this whole group. I met Rebecca the first time today, and she was kind of shy at first, but she came around a little bit after I kept talking to her and talking to her. It's more than bowling to me, it's more like camaraderie. I mean, I can't count how many times that I made so many friends just talking to them. It's my favorite thing to come to a Special Olympics event and not just witness your athletes competing and having a great time, but getting to experience that with the other athletes around them. Pick it up, Rebecca. There we go. I'll see you get there. This is an easy pickup. Matt and Rebecca today were so supportive of each other and it was so heartwarming to see and also just like made me so proud. There it is, there it is. Yay! Good job, Matt. Matt had a great day today. Whoa! 
Matt's score in the first game was a 194. He finished off with a, a turkey in the 10th frame. Yeah, good job, Matt. And then the second game, he got um, a 177. Matthew Jones! And he really just used all of his tools to get his most successful games out. It was really exciting to watch him play and have success today. When I saw Rebecca get her bronze medal today, no matter how many bronze medals, silver, gold, or ribbons, it is always a sense of pride. It's always kind of like reaffirming the fact that regardless of whether there's a disability, there's ability. I just want to say thank you to Special Olympics because you have given Rebecca a life and a place to test herself and to grow. I was very happy for her because she put the work in in order to get here. This portion of Special Olympics Florida State Games is sponsored by Walt Disney World. Pinch a Penny Pool, Patio, and Spa, and Ron John Surf Shop. Walt Disney World. We all know it. Or do we? Florida residents, if you haven't been here lately, you just haven't been. And now, you'll find more excitement to explore than ever before. Come experience the fun and save 40% on a four-day Disney theme park ticket. Walt Disney World. Been there, haven't done that. Yeah, normally I do this, but, um, old football injury. Alkalinity's a little low. Yeah, you know, I was just saying, we needed to add some alkalinity. Let the experts at pinch penny take care of your pool for you. Ah. <sighs> Everything you need to keep your pool perfect. Yeah! Even pool automation. Only at pinch -a penny We need water to live. Not just to survive, but to live. Live for the thrill of it. Live for the love of it. Live to ride another day. Long live the beach. Ron John Surf Shop, open 24 hours every day in Cocoa Beach.